in videos um, 68 and 69, we started talking about phasers and different types of phaser operations. Um, in this video, we want to take just a brief review of complex numbers because we're going to use this information in the future videos. In here, we're just going to review about how to multiply two complex numbers. The rules is not, are not any different than when you're multiplying uh, two binomials together. So multiplying a plus jb times c plus jd, of course j is the square root of negative 1. So if we multiply these together, here we will have a c Then we have the inner product, that's this times this plus this times this. So that will be j. And then we have bc plus ad. And then we have the last two terms, this times this j squared is negative 1, b times d, so that will be minus b d. So lumping the real parts together, we have a c minus b d plus j, and here's the imaginary component, b c plus a, D. So again, it's just like multiplying two binomials together, no special rules, except we're going to have, in the end, a real component and an imaginary component. So let's just take an example. Let's say we have 3 plus 4j, and we'll multiply this by minus 6 plus j3. So we know the real component is going to come from multiplying these two numbers and then multiplying these two numbers. So six, minus 6 times 3, that's minus 18, and then 4 times 3 is 12, but j squared is minus 1, so that makes this minus 12. And then the imaginary component, that comes from the inner product, this times this plus this times this. So here we have minus 6 times 4, that's minus 24, and then 3 times 3, that's plus 9, times j, of course. So this is equal to minus 30, and minus 24 plus 9, that's minus j times 15. Now, if we're multiplying, remember, a number, a complex number, by its conjugate, say we have a plus jb, and we multiply this by a minus jb, then here we have, for the real numbers, a times a, that's a squared, minus b squared, this is minus b, times b, that's minus b squared, but then j squared is minus 1, so this comes out being plus b squared. And then for the complex part of the number, the imaginary part of the number, it's the inner product, abj minus abj, so that's going to be 0. So when you multiply a number by its complex conjugate, we get a real number. And that real number is just simply going to be a squared plus b 
p squared. And we can use this fact when we want to uh, divide two complex numbers. Let's say, for example, we have, well, let's take an example of multiplying a number by its complex conjugate. Suppose we have 3 plus 4j and multiply it by its complex conjugate, 3 minus 4j. And that's simply going to be equal to 9 plus 16, that's 25. So those are easy to handle, and of course with the complex conjugate we're always guaranteed to get a real number. Now earlier we multiplied 3 plus 4j, we multiply that by minus 6 plus j3. Let's say we're going to divide this by minus 6 plus j3. So we have 3 plus 4j divided by minus 6 plus j3. And how can we divide these two complex numbers? And here then is where we use the complex conjugate. We multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So this would be minus 6 minus j3 and the top was the same thing, minus 6 minus j3. Now here we're just multiplying this expression by 1. Any entity divided by itself is 1. So we're not changing the value of this expression, but we are making it, uh, putting it in a form that we can work with it. Because down here in the denominator, this is going to be a real number. Then we can work with the numerator uh, in just a moment. But let's see what the denominator is going to be. Very simple. That squared plus that squared. So the denominator is 36 plus 9. Now, in the numerator, we have to do some multiplication. So here we have, to get the real part of the expression, 3 times minus 6, that's minus 18, and then we're going to have this times this, 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12, but j squared is minus 1, so that's going to be plus 12. And then we multiply here and here to get the imaginary component. So here we have minus 24j, and here we have minus 9j, so that will be minus 33 times j. So negative 18 plus 12, that will give us minus 6. Then we have minus 33j, and this is divided by 45. So this is what 3 plus 4j divided by minus 6 plus 3j equals this expression. Or we can break this apart if we want to. This will be equal to minus 6 over 45 minus 33 divided by 45 times j. And let's see, 6, that's the same thing as 
2 times 3, and 45, that's the same thing as 15 times 3, and this would be 3 times 11, and this again is 3 times 15 times j, so cancel here, cancel here, and we have minus 2 over 15 minus 11 over 15 j, that is equal to 3 plus 4j divided by minus 6 plus j3. So, the trick in handling this is whenever we're dividing two complex numbers is for the denominator, multiply this top and bottom by the complex conjugate of this denominator. And that means we're multiplying this by 1, so it doesn't change the value of it, but then that does put a real number down in the denominator. And then once we have that in place, we can go ahead and solve it for a real answer here by just simply multiplying the numerator and then dividing through by the real number that we obtain down in the denominator. And after that, we just um, maneuver it so we can get a simpler expression, finally ending up with this form right here. So I think that's all we have for this video. Um, I think in the next videos we're going to be doing some more examples of polar vectors and multiplication and division of them. But along the way we will make use of this knowledge here. So we just wanted to have a brief review of what uh, complex numbers involve. I think this is video 73 in our series and the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org.